Leading out of Malcolm will of course be the X-Files, with stars David Duchovny and Gillian Anderson back for an eighth season. I say of course as if this was some kind of foregone conclusion when in fact the last month of negotiations drove me to live on Pepto-Bismol shots and Alka-Seltzer chasers. People are applauding that? Thank you. <laughs> the importance of this show to the Fox network is really significant. Even in its seventh season when most dramas have long ago bitten the creative dust, The X-Files remains an extraordinary hour. And despite facing its toughest competitive challenge ever, Millionaire on one side and The Sopranos on the other, not to mention a bevy of big ticket miniseries during every Sunday of sweeps, The X-Files continues to attract a large, upscale, and extremely lucrative young adult audience. In fact, few shows have weathered the millionaire competition as well as The X-Files. And next season, we won't be competing against The Sopranos until that show's March premiere. And the eighth season of The X-Files may very well be one of the show's most exciting to date because Chris Carter has been creatively re-energized and his goal is to create new characters, new relationships, and major new storylines that will enthrall fans. And that'll begin with this Sunday's finale, with Mulder's disappearance, some might say abduction, and continue at the top of next season with Scully teamed with a new partner in her search for him. Through an amazing series of events, Mulder will return, and that'll kick off a new mythology and set up the latter half of the season, and quite possibly the next season as well. We're so happy to have them here with us, so would you please join me in welcoming the Golden Globe Award-winning stars of The X-Files, Gillian Anderson and David Duchovny.